determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the open weight championship between Bruce and Undertaker. I hope you guys will like it. Well, for a long time he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25 minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. All right, this is from UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Watch the shot. 
All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Circling to his right. Lands flush with that right hand. Strike. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Shut the liver down. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Keep busy, guys. Keep busy. Straight punch lands. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. He is all about that left kick to the body. And they separate. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Beautiful punch. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, he missed with that right hand. No good. Let him go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And they separate. Big kick lands. Body kick now by Luke. Trying to establish that jab once again. <laughs> Unable to connect with the right. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big power shot there. Right here, final seconds of round one. Big ball from Crunch Land. Now we get back in range. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight.
He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Circling towards the left now. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big head kick land. And they separate. Plus right hand is true. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Nice punch from that over the top. Watch knees to the body. I mean, that right hand landed square. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Just missed with the left there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on the feet. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Liver kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Unable to connect with the right hand there. And right there, his opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to rest. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big kick. 
Oh, tags him with that money left again. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Great punch. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, let's now check out some of the action, DC. What a display of leg kicks in that last round. He did a good job of identifying his approach in that round. He knew the leg kick would be open, and he took full advantage of it. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful body kick. Able to check the high kick. Right punches there. Got the single collar tie. Big body kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. That's a big hook. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Good one. Back and forth we go. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Body kick is blocked. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful legs. That punch will work right through the door. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Left hand punch in the clinch. Lands with the right hand. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. That's a big strike right there. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. 
Back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Body shot there. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges, and big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next one. Continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion okay, in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can pull off his career. Lee circling to his right now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Blocks the strike. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. And just misses with that big right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Here we go. Punch the punch. Just misses with the jab. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Try to establish that jab. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Misses with that punch. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Not there. Counters beautifully with a straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like that, DC. You can't relate. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, yeah, right here. Very nice leg kick 
score up there. Came the nose. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Luke. Out of range with that one. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> 20 seconds left. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Going round four. Nice. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Well, a lot of high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw a full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Right on the button. Oh, single collar tie here. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes, really zapping the gas tank of his opponent. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Got clip with the right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Slips the punch nicely there. Punch there by Lee. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. He can't even, he can barely stand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Big head kick lands. Punch to the body, that one is blocked. Under three minutes now to go round five. All right, single collar tie now. Punch over the top. How about that chin? Skip those versus five or days, that's for sure. No, this has to feel good. This has to feel like everything he did. All right, so he lands his first takedown in the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice kick. Spots, but 
Not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Both fighters back to their feet now. Unable to land the head kick there. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Visibly limping here. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Back to the jab now, no good. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. seconds of the fight. Oh, that right hand is on point. He missed with that jab attempt there. All right, so the fight goes the championship distance, and you may want to get the black and gold colors out. We're getting a new champion tonight. He turned in a beautiful striking display. Team. This is one of the best performances that we have seen from a challenger in a really long time. He relied on the striker. He understood that that's where he had the advantage. He used all of his advantages, and I feel like we will hear and do very shortly. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And...